ladies and gentlemen, your official introduction this morning is a lightweight, semi-professional B-class pack. First of all, standing to my left in the blue corner. He is 19 years of age, stands at 5 feet, 7 inches tall, and weighed in at 70 kilograms. He hails from Birmingham and represents Leicester Shoot Fighters! This fighter is 32 years of age, stands at 5 feet, 10 inches tall, and weighing at 69 kilograms. He hails from Sunderland and represents Combat Athletic with a record of 1-1-0, one, one, Andrew Smudge Smith! This semi-professional bout is held over two five-minute rounds. So here we are with the referee giving the um, final instructions. Andy, can you just explain the semi-pro B-class rules? Yeah, so now we're into the uh, semi-pro contest, the B-class. So it's over two five-minute rounds and we've got headshots standing only. So that's no headshots when we get to the ground. We've got Ed Tang versus Andrew Smudge Smith. Got an age gap here. Uh, 19 year old Pang. Both exchanges some good strikes here. Yeah, nothing really landed cleanly, I don't think. A lot of energy being used at the beginning of the fight. Yeah, I was about to say, very explosive to, to begin with. Smudge we've seen before, he was on the last show. Um, he had quite good groundwork, if I remember rightly. Ed, Ed seems to have a big following here. Got good uh, takedown defence and decent strikes. Definitely looks like he wants to keep it stood up. Left hander, southpaw. Looks very solid. Yeah. Just throwing him to the ground each time. Yeah, now he's settled down, it looks like he's controlling the fight a little bit more. Big wing right hand there from Smudge. Ed manages to turn him onto the cage, but he's in a tie clinch. Knees coming in. Still a oh, bit, a bit frantic with the uh, with the attacks. You can see them both blowing out before the end of this fight. Yeah, it's a very fast pace with the set. Smudge was looking for the neck, now he's just looking to hold position. Maybe looking for a little bit of a rest here. Ed, Ed still looks very relaxed in here. He, he just wants to break away and let his strikes go, and I think Smudge is uh, more wanting to have the uh, oh, have it in the clinch. A good knee there from Ed. With good. Smudge leaning in like that, he's giving away his body to be for the knees. Now, if you remember, they've got five-minute rounds here, so. This is quite a fast pace. It's a, we say, over very five good minutes. pace, five minute rounds. Smudge caught with his chin in the air a little there. I think he's feeling the pace. Yeah, you can see he's got his mouth open as well. Rushing in with his strikes. Ed's still looking the more composed. Good advice two. from uh, Rob Haddis and Nathan Leverton in the shoot fighter corner to Ed. Can't quite hear from uh, Smudge's corner. He seems a bit more content to be um, fighting stood up though. A lot of clinch work. I think now the pace has settled down a little bit. He's, um, he's, got a, he's got a reach advantage, he just needs to use it a little bit. Now, 
bit of a poor attempt at a guillotine there from uh, from Ed. Just dropped on his back, flop, flop to his back a little bit. Smudging on top, looking to pass guard. Let's see what Ed can do from underneath. Both, to fighters, guard. both fighters do look very tired. I'm not as, really surprised as you'd expect. Referee might stand them up here because we don't. Neither of them seem to be doing anything to further the positions. Oh, nah, he's way too far out. He didn't secure the head on. Oh, nice oh, switch! Oh, brilliant! Absolutely beautiful brilliant. turn. He needs to pull those legs out here. Quick thinking there from Ed. He's got the ankle, took the back. Some slick moves from Ed and uh, yeah, Andrew he could have pretty well to uh, to escape. He could have kept the momentum going there all the way to Mount. I think that's what his corner were calling for him to do. But he's um, sat back into guard. Seems quite comfortable on his back. I'd like to see him um, try and escape from underneath and get back to his feet. I think that's where his strength is really. Ten seconds left in the in the round. Good, good round, dude. Just score that today. I'd definitely give the round to um, Ed Pang, to be honest. Um, I think he had Andrew Smith in, uh, not in trouble, but flustered at several points in the round. I definitely think that that's right. Uh, Ed took the round for me for certain. Uh, his striking looking a lot more composed. In the clinch, he looked like he had, he had good knees. I'm not saying Andrew didn't do well in the uh, in the striking, but he was a bit more frantic, rushing forward with it, rushing to get to the clinch. But, uh, I just liked Ed's composure, and, and uh, he threw a couple of good uppercuts in there, some very good knees as well. Interesting to see what the corner said to him and uh, what the plans are for the next round. Yeah, I think the best shots um, from Smudge is uh, his right hand, although not straight, he throws quite a fast right hand, and his knees, when he instigates it, are quite good. I think um, Ed has a good all-round variety of strikes. So I'd like to see uh, Andrew just stand his ground a little, just fire out some nice, fast, long shots. Yeah, use his reach. Yeah, ra rather than looping the shots in. Good knee from Andrew there. Bit of a change in game plan from Ed this round. Looking for a takedown. Straight into side control. Into mount. Smudge there had a half a guillotine and just seemed to flop to his back with it. Smudge has felt his glove have been pulled on there. Yeah, it Pick. can happen. Ed looking a bit a good more good on the uh, uppercut and on knee the there from uh, Smudge. That's a good knee, but it was caught and driving it from Ed. He needs to keep driving and finish that takedown. He doesn't really want to stay in that position. It can be very tiring staying under there. Smudge looks relaxed here. Ed pushing for the single leg. He needs to really drive for it. He'll be wasting a lot of energy in there. Smudge punching to the body as well won't help him. I think I'd like to see Ed stand back now and fire some strikes nice and quick. Yeah. He seems to have failed at the takedown. I, I, I'd just stand back and, and get some shots off. I think he's definitely feeling the pace a little. Yeah, definitely. The smudge has a little opportunity to rest there, although he has been wrestling him. I think um, he's regained composure. Good movement from both of them on the ground. And, uh, Ed in defence and, uh, and Smudge in attack there. 
Yeah, both fighters look to have decent jujitsu, decent hip movement. If any criticism, it could just be a little bit tighter on the ground. Smudge looking for a key lock. Don't know whether he can get it from the uh, half guard there. It's quite an open half guard. He's managed to get his guard back there. Both are very active. Working at a decent pace, this fight's been fought at a very, very good pace. Shows the fitness of the two guys. Yeah, it's a credit to the fitness of both these guys. Both from good gyms, though, so I can see that they've done some good all-round workouts. Now, Ed needs to pull him in if he's going to get a submission or a sweep. His corner is shouting to him, they're calling for him. Uh, so he needs to get, if he gets control ahead here, he could have a triangle, triangle. But I think he's just too far gone. away. Took a risk there and put himself in a bad yeah. position. The idea was right, he was just too, too far away from him. He needed to pull him in closer before he started. Corner encouraging uh, Ed to get up, I think that'd be his best plan at the moment. If he could get back to his feet. Work some more strikes. Just needs to pop his head out and, and get back onto his feet. Yeah, Smudge does a good, um, a good job of uh, smothering him and keeping that sprawl down, keeping his weight on top of him. And I think he it, it, it has tired Ed throughout the fight with, with this position. Just let him get around the back there. And looking for a choke, he's throwing the choke on. He's throwing the choke up from the side, I can't quite see from this angle. Can't see how tight that is, but... Doesn't look a comfortable position for Ed. I think he's out of danger though. Head back on top now. Last Quinn 10 seconds last of the 10 round. Seconds. It's been a very, very good round, this one. Attempting a guillotine, he could have. This gets quite... It's on the last right. attempt on. Absolutely it was worth a go. Who would, you, who would you give that to Dave? I wouldn't like to score that round. I think we'll leave this on to our judges and we'll wait on the announcement from uh, MC Aaron Chatfield. Decision. Your winner in the 